Welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and another Farming Simulator 22, a mod review. I am extremely pleased to bring you one of my most favoured mods from FS19, and this is the Lusty Tippers and Arends Dollies by JFL Modding. The mods are available from JFL Modding's Facebook page, the link will be down below, and uh, make sure you only grab it from that Facebook link. Don't go grab it from the aggregated websites because they're a bunch of mod-stealing bastards. Right, let's get into it. So, the Lusty Tippers. As you can see in front of you, that's some of the basic configurations and the trailers that you get with this, plus the configurable option of your own graphics on it, which you can see there. I've got my Ducks All Gaming Aussie Farming Attitude versions there, and they are a direct port over with the graphics from the FS19 version, which is fantastic. Also in front, we have the various Arends dollies as well, which we'll go through and cover off as well. But I'll very quickly just go through the specs and criteria we have with these before we go into the shop and delve into these a bit further. So we have the original features that were available in the FS19, which was quite a few. Uh, they are color selectable, three different tippers, two dollies, four drawbars, three mudguard options, two rim options, and the road sign option as well. New features for the tippers include more color options, two liveries for all three tippers, uh, weight scales on the side of tippers, improved suspension with no more swaying, new Alcoa wheels and tyres, custom number plates, and new support animation. The new features for the dollies, more colour options, dynamic hoses, new Alcoa wheels and tyres, and improved suspension, and custom number plates. Now, he did also state that there's no Australian number plates as yet, but I have a funny feeling sometime down the track we'll get some Australian number plates, which will be fantastic. All right. That's them. Look at them. They're fantastic. Let's go and have a bit of a closer look. And then we'll delve into the store and have a bit of a look-see as well. All right. Help us if I press the right key. So here we have our Renz dollies. So these are the two-wheeled, the dual-wheel version. And we have the short um, the, the short uh, drawbars, uh, the first two there. So we have a straight and the angular drawbar. Then we have the long drawbars there. And as you can see, the color configurations there are available, different wheel types. We have the spider wheels there on one where you can see they're red there. And we have the standard wheel options as well. And then over here, we have the triaxle Arends dollies with the different mud guards, color options, and the different length draw bars as well. Then we have the trailers themselves. We have the A trailer, and then we have the B trailer. And there's two configurations of the B trailer. Now, um, they are quite simply an end end tipper and an over axle tipper which we'll show you a little bit later uh, but they're fully customizable as you can see here so you can either have them as plain or if you actually take the time and use his template that's in in included with the mod you can actually make your own template and apply it on the side of your trailers as well so there's two different versions you can have on so you can have two concurrently uh, and we've just got our standard one on there at the moment and uh we have a bit of a bias preference. We don't mind how that looks. So um, that's what we use for our farms. And certainly for things coming forward in FS22, that's what we'll see. All right, let's uh, quickly flick on over and we'll have a look at them in the store and have a look at all our options. We'll be right back. Okay, so firstly, in the store, under the trailers, we have the three tippers. So we have the A trailer, which is the Lusty End Tipper A trailer, $52,500 default. We have the Lusty Chassis End Tipper, and we have the Lusty Tip Over Axle Tipper as well. So that's the options we have available to us. So let's go in and have a bit of a quick look see at the options. So we'll start with the A trailer. So the A trailer obviously has the um, the fifth wheel at the back over the back end of the chassis over the tri wheels. And that's what we can end up adding on our B trailers to on either of the configurations. And that gives us an A B configuration, or otherwise known here, we call them a B double. Um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, they do vary. I'm not going to get into the, the various names and configurations, but there are quite a few of them. We'll show some of the configurations we can have a little bit later. But nonetheless, this is always your front leading trailer. Now you can have, you may have three or four A trailers and then one B trailer. It just depends on how you want to configure it and how maneuverable you want the, the road train to be. But anyway, so let's get into it, Duck. So the basic uh, 40 cubic meters is the capacity for this trailer. And the base price, as I said before, is $52,500. Now, the options that we have available, we have the standard plate and we have the non-standard plate, okay? So that's not a big deal. 
graphics, none. So by default, no graphics means we have no graphics. Now, if I go and select graphic one, I have my Aussie farming attitude graphic coming up. If I go to number two, if I had a secondary secondary graphic made up, I could also use that. Um, but I only have the one available, so we only have that one. With the guards, now the color guards, we have uh, the chrome guards, the rubber guards, and the color guards, okay, by standard. The wheel setup, we have standard wheels, and then we have the spiders, and that's what we have there. With the color selection, you'll see there's a huge range of color collections, selections, sorry. Main color. So with the main color, look at the colors we can get. We've got a huge array of colors to choose from, and I love this selection. It really means we can sort of play with colors now. So we can have a, a nice sunburnt orange, and that sort of goes with my text there, which is fine. So we can have an orange main color. The tank color, we can change the tank color, and we might want to make that a green. Uh, probably want a darker green there, actually, to probably go more with my coloring color scheme there. That's pretty close, that'll do. Uh, then we can have the spider color. Now, if we've got the spider wheel selected, we can change the color. If I change that, if I don't have the spider wheels, it doesn't affect it. But if I change that to the spiders, you'll see the spiders do actually retain that color. So I can go black. Um, I can go yellow. I can do whatever I like uh, with that uh, color selection. So I could go for red, for instance, or tickety boo. Right. The tarp color, I can choose a tarp color to match as well. So for this one, I would go probably a tarp color like that. And I'd probably change that color there to a dark green as well. So probably like that. Okay. And I don't think that's a totally unattractive trailer, uh, but I have a bit of a, a bias to that, I guess, as well. But that's the main configurations you've got for that trailer. And as you can see, my extra cost for that is $4,000 for the extra paint and all that sort of stuff. But that is um, the options you have available. Now, if I, again, turned off my graphics, that's how the colors will look. Okay. So that's the A trailer. All right, we're going to back right out and we're going to have a look at the end tipper. Now, the end tipper and the over axle tipper, tipper are exactly the same in relation to its configuration that as the A trailer. The only difference being is its actual tip function, um, which we'll have a look at again a little bit later. Again, same graphic options, same design options, same color guard options, and same wheel setup and color options as well. So, for instance, I can go again, I can go our main color. Uh, I could well, actually that was meant to be orange, wasn't it? So we can go the orange tank color. I go the dark green the spider color. I'll go a uh, red and the tarp color. I'll go the dark green. All right, and there we go. We can create a color configured set of road trains. Now the other one design. We do have the ability to put the road train signs on, which obviously if you're trying to keep a good Aussie road train, then uh, they're what we need to add on to our trailers as well but anyway that is the b trailer configuration for the end tipper and like i said there is no difference at all with the actual tipper um, other than the actual tipping tipping action so those functions are all the same all right so let's have a look at our dollies so if you come back out here and have a look at the dollies we have two sets of dollies so we have the duo dolly and the tri dolly as we showed before the duo dolly is just the dual axle and we have the options of the plastic guards, the chrome guards, the rubber guards. We have the signage of road train or no road train. Standard plate, yes or no. Okay, so all that's really doing with that standard plate at the moment is it's changing that background plate. And it's not really doing anything for you because you got this other silly plate on the front of it. So really, you might as well just keep that off. Uh, draw bars. So the draw bars can change between the short one. So that's the standard straight short bar. Uh, then you've got short two, which is the triangular bar. You then got long one and long two. So depending upon what your spacing you want between your trailers, um, you've got those there as well. The wheel setup, you have the spiders and you have the standard. And as I said before, when you choose the spiders, you've got the option of color coloring up the spiders themselves and uh, providing that little bit of extra depth of color and configuration. Um, spider colors, again, that's where, like I said, we can change the colors there. And the rim color, you can change separately as well. So you have an option of stainless steel, whoops, uh, stainless steel, chrome, white, or gray. So for instance, you could go white, um, turn off the spiders. Oh, where are we? There we go. There we go, where's the white? You can go the chrome, you can go the stainless steel, 
and you can go the matte gray. I actually think it's more of a, it is a gloss gray. There you go. So that's the options you have available to you for those. Now, again, that is the same between the duo and also the tri dolly. So again, the tri dolly here is a tri axle, exactly the same configuration options. Um, so same drawbar configuration. You've got the same um, wheel setups and you've got the same signage for the road train you can put on the back of that as well. Uh, and what was the other one? The guards are the same as well. So that's it. That is the overview of the options that you have available from the store. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you some pre-configured setups. So we'll be right back. Okay, so this will show you a couple of configurations that we've got set up here. We've got um, our bog standard, um, well, not I say bog standard. Here's um, a setup where we've got two A trailers with a dolly. So we've got them set up. So you've got uh, a large A trailer at the front, a dolly, and then another, sorry, a B trailer at the front, a large dolly, and then another B trailer. Uh, then over here, we've got a configuration where we've got dual A trailers followed by a B trailer. So we've got an A, an A, and a B. And then another configuration we've got as well is where we've got the A, B configuration as a double. So we've got an A, B configuration, then we have a dolly, and then we have another A, B configuration. All right, so quick as a flash, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here on the Anthem, and we are going to go for a bit of a drive and just show you how they react. All right, let's get cracking. So obviously you'll need to be aware of your turning space once you've got this running because uh, as you turn, the tighter you turn, the tighter the turn is going to actually end up being for the trailers. But as you can see, they all seem to be nice and stable, they follow nicely and they are a wonderful addition to Farming Simulator 22. But I would like to thank JFL, uh, JFL Modding for getting these done so quick. Um, like I said, these are certainly the Ducks Early Gaming go-to trailers that we've had all the way through FS19 and we are very, very happy to have them back in FS22. So, that's it. The JFL trailers and the Arend trolleys by... Sorry, the Lusty trailers and the Arend dollies by JFL Modding. Fantastic mod. Make sure you head on over to Facebook and grab those mods. Again, please don't go grab the mods from the aggregated websites. Make sure you're grabbing the mods from where the modders actually put them up and make sure you leave a comment for JFL Modding and let them know how much you like the trailers and all that sort of stuff and tell them that Duck sent you. But anyway, that's it for this mod review. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you press that subscribe button and the alarm notification icon as well. Press that like button. And of course, take care of yourselves and loved ones. We'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Sully Gaming and Farming Simulator 22. See you all later. Bye.